Hi, let us understand how to use the cube configuration file to connect with Kubernetes cluster auth. For understanding purpose, I have created two Kubernetes cluster as a part of my Vulture cloud, where I have named the Kubernetes cluster as prod and QA. For each individual cluster, I have downloaded the configuration file from this specific location and I have named the configuration file accordingly. Say for example, for prod cluster, I have named the configuration file as prod underscore config dot yaml file and for QA, I named it as QA underscore config dot yaml file. By default, we will be having the configuration file with the name config without any extension. Now to connect with the, the Kubernetes cluster, I'm going to use the kubectl command. For that, I'm going to use the git shell so that I can make use of the commands very similar to what I can use it within the Linux, even being within Windows operating system. Now let us understand more in detail about the kubeconfig file and how that will be used. Assume I have two clusters, one is prod and another one is say QA. Cube config file is the one that's going to help us to connect with the cluster. By default, that will be in the name of config without any extension. This is going to have the details in terms of where the server is located, the user ID to connect to the server, the certificate details, all such informations will be available as a part of the kubeconfig file. So please do not share it with anyone as well as while using, use it if the file is from the authentic source. So these are all the information going to be there as a part of the kubeconfig file. Certificate authority, server endpoint, that is the IP address or the DNS, the cluster name and uh, the user with which we can connect and the token for that specific user. This cube configuration file can be used in three different modes. One is I can have the configuration file and get the context. We can have multiple context, say one context per server or server and user combination we can have and I can use a specific context and make use of it. The next one is I can add the configuration file as a part of the environmental variable and make use of it. This will be used in case if I have a configuration file on a temporary basis, I can point it to that specific configuration file and connect to the server. This one, again, we will be using it on a temporary basis where I wanted to use a configuration file for that specific command. The difference between these two is once the environmental variable is set for that particular terminal or the shell, for the entire session, we can make use of that particular configuration file. We do not need to give the configuration file for each and every command like here. Now we will see all these three options for easy and understanding purpose, I'm going to make use of this command line reference in the beginning, then we will move forward. Here I'm going to point the cube configuration file to the prod underscore config dot yaml and I'm going to get the nodes. Here I have two nodes as a part of the production cluster. Both the nodes are listed over here. So as a part of the production cluster, I have two nodes, prod, dash, and then the ID of that specific node. Now I can use the next command by pointing it to the QA configuration file that is QA cluster. 
This will list the nodes from the QA cluster that's going to have the prefix QA. Here, for each and every command, I have to explicitly mention what command I wanted to, what cluster I wanted to use or what configuration file to be used to connect to the cluster. Now let us export the configuration file. to the environmental variable kubeconfig. So once this is exported, till that particular configuration file is changed or the end of this particular session, this particular configuration file will be used. To test, I can get the context that's going to point to the server 314b. For production that will have the name 314b. We can verify it from the cluster overview. Three one four B. Now I do not need to explicitly mention what configuration file to use because that is set as a part of the configuration file directly I can issue the command kubectl. kubectl get nodes will get the nodes within the production server. So by default it will be pointing to this specific cluster mentioned within this specific configuration file. Now the third way of using it is using the configuration is setting the context and what context to use. For example, earlier if you check what are all the context available, we have only one context and that is set as a default one. Now I can have multiple clusters. During the development or for the QA testing, we may have multiple clusters and we wanted to connect with the different clusters for testing or deployment purpose. For that, we will be merging all the configuration file and load that as the context and we can set any specific context as the current or the default context. Once that is set, we can use this particular command of setting a specific context or using a specific context and make use of the configuration files. And by default, Kubernetes is going to use a configuration file called config. What we can do if we have multiple configuration files, we can merge all of them together using the command merge of kubectl. Here I am going to merge the config file in case if it is available. In our case it is not available and I can merge the production configuration .yaml file, kubeconfig.yaml file all available within the home directory .cube. I am going to use the kubeconfig view command and merge everything, flatten them that it is going to consolidate all the details together and write it as a file called config.new. Here we have to export this as a variable, export, that particular word is missing. Here we should have a file called config.new. In case if the earlier config file is available, I am going to rename that as a word. In our case, it is not available. So I am going to rename. the config.new file to config. Since we have the default file config, it should read by default and we can see what are all context 
available. You can use the command kubectl config get context. There is an S since multiple contexts can be there. That's a plural. You can get the multiple context using the command kubectl config get context. In case if only one context, if it is available, we might have set the environmental variable kubeconfig earlier and that's overruling the config file details. In that case, open the new session of the git shell or whatever the shell that is available as a part of your operating system and you can issue the command config git context. That's going to read the config file from the default location that is dot cube within the user directory. Now this is set as the current context. So any command that you are going to use say kubectl get nodes will get the nodes from this specific context. Now let's use the command kubectl config use context first let's get the context use context this one that is ending with b1f so that is switched now now let's get the context we can see it's pointing to b1f now if we try to get the nodes from here in this case we are able to log in directly for one context and not for the other context that's not because of the issue with the configuration file the issue with the, the merge command of kubectl if you observe very carefully, this is the QA configuration file that's going to have the cluster detail and the context that's having the reference to the user admin and the certificate and the data for the admin is available over here. The same way for production also, it's using the C name admin. Since I created two different clusters, by default, Virtual Cloud is using the username admin for every new cluster and while merging it it's going to consider only one user as an admin and that specific user certificate data and key data got merged and it's assuming both the admin user is same and it's using the same admin user in both the context so for the production this specific user is working and for the QA, the production user key data is not going to work. How to solve this particular issue that we will be seeing it in the next video.